Have you ever peered into the depths of a well and felt a chill crawl up your spine? What if I told you that one such well exists in Japan, said to be haunted by a tormented spirit? If you enjoy taking a journey into the strange and unknown things hidden in the shadows of our universe, please click that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date when new videos are uploaded. Himeji Castle, home to Okiku's Well, a place of mystery and tragedy. Here, the echoes of a haunting incident reverberates through the stone walls, chilling the air with an eerie silence. This is the story of Okiku, a servant girl whose life took a tragic turn, leaving her spirit to linger around the well that now bears her name. Imprisoned in its murky depths, Okiku's spirit is said to rise from the well, her mournful cries echoing through the night, a haunting reminder of her untimely death. But what led to her tragic fate? What horrors did she face that bound her spirit to this ancient well? A chilling tale, isn't it? But how did Okiku end up in the well? Let's dive deeper into her story. Okiku, a beautiful servant with a fate cruelly twisted by an unscrupulous samurai. Our story begins in the feudal era of Japan, where Okiku, a woman of unmatched beauty and grace, served in a samurai's household. This samurai, known for his ruthless ambition and cunning, was not just her master, but also an unwanted admirer. Okiku, virtuous and innocent, was oblivious to the dark intentions brewing in the samurai's heart. She found herself in the midst of a grand scheme when she was entrusted with ten priceless ornate plates. These plates were not just kitchenware, but symbols of power and prestige. They were the pride of the samurai's collection and the envy of his peers. Their value was not only in their intricate design and craftsmanship, but also in their number. Ten, a number of completeness and perfection in Japanese culture. However, the samurai had a wicked plan. He hoped to manipulate Okiku into becoming his lover by creating a scandal. He hid one of the ten plates, making it seem as though Okiku had lost it. In the samurai's twisted mind, he believed that Okiku, in her desperation to avoid punishment, would succumb to his advances. But Okiku was no ordinary woman. She was diligent and honest, and she searched tirelessly for the missing plate. She counted and recounted, but each time she would come up one short. The ninth plate was nowhere to be found. The samurai's plot had successfully cornered her. The fear of disgrace and the unbearable pressure of the situation began to weigh heavily on her. In the end, the samurai's plan took a gruesome turn. Consumed by rage at Okiku's steadfast refusal and the fear of his plot being uncovered, he committed an unthinkable act. He accused Okiku of theft, and in the heat of his anger and in a fit of rage, the samurai threw Okiku into the well, sealing her fate. With Okiku's last breath drawn at the bottom of the well, a haunting began that would last centuries. Upon her tragic demise, Okiku's restless spirit was bound to her watery grave, her tormented wails echoing through the still night air, a haunting testament to her untimely death. The once peaceful Himeji Castle, a symbol of strength and prosperity, now bore an unsettling aura, its grandeur marred by the eerie sounds emanating from the depths of Okiku's well. Whispers of spectral activity began to seep into the community, chilling tales of a mournful voice counting from one to nine, a voice that was too familiar, too heartrending to ignore. It was Okiku's voice, her spirit trapped in the perpetual torment of her final moments, seemingly stuck in a loop, recounting the plates that led to her doom. The counting was punctuated by a chilling silence, a pause that seemed to stretch into eternity, before a blood-curling scream shattered the quiet, a scream of such despair and terror that it sent shivers down the spines of those unfortunate enough to hear it. The scream was a manifestation of Okiku's anguish, her spirit's desperate cry for release from her eternal prison, a heart-rending plea that echoed through the castle's stone walls and into the hearts of its inhabitants. But amidst the fear and terror, a question began to form, one that would baffle those who heard Okiku's spectral counting for centuries to come. Why did Okiku only count to nine? 
Was it a manifestation of her final moments? A reflection of the missing plate that led to her tragic end? Or was it something more? A deeper mystery tied to Okiku's spirit and her eternal torment? As the nightly counting continued, the question lingered, casting an eerie shadow over Himeji Castle. Why does Okiku only count to nine? Why does she scream into the night? As the moonlight bathed the castle's stone walls, Okiku's haunting wails filled the air, a haunting reminder of the castle's dark past and the tragic tale of Okiku's well. The number nine holds a special significance in Okiku's spectral tale. This isn't your usual ghost story where spirits lurk in the shadows, but a tale of torment and relentless pursuit. At the core of Okiku's haunting is a missing object, a tangible token of her eternal suffering. The tenth plate and Okiku was made the prime suspect. Despite her frantic search, the tenth plate remained elusive, leading to her tragic demise at the hands of her enraged master. But death was not the end for Okiku. Instead, it was the beginning of an unending quest. In the afterlife, Okiku found herself trapped within the confines of the well, where she was thrown in her mortal life. Her spirit is bound to this well, not by chains, but by the weight of her unfulfilled duty. Night after night, she emerges from the depths of the well, her spectral hands reaching out, not to harm, but to count. One to nine, over and over again, in an endless loop of despair. Her spectral cries echo into the night, a somber reminder of her eternal search for the missing tenth plate. Yet, this isn't merely a tale of a tormented spirit. It's a story that sheds light on the profound impact of guilt and the lengths to which one might go to seek atonement, even in death. It's a curse, not of the supernatural kind, but one that's deeply embedded in our human nature. The inability to let go, the persistence of conscience, and the overwhelming desire to right a perceived wrong, even if it means being trapped in an endless cycle of despair and regret. Okiku, forever trapped, forever counting. But is there more to her story? As the sun sets, the echoes of Okiku's counting fill the air around Himeji Castle. It's said that even today, the haunting lament of Okiku's voice can be heard echoing from the depths of the well. Visitors, locals, and even skeptical investigators have reported hearing the soft, sorrowful count from one to nine, followed by an agonizing wail of despair. Some have even felt a chill run down their spines, as if touched by the icy fingers of a spectral hand. These ongoing experiences, reported by people from all walks of life, lend an eerie credence to the legend. Yet, the mystery surrounding Okiku's well remains unresolved. Despite numerous investigations and countless hours spent trying to unravel the truth, the well continues to guard its secret with the same tenacity as the samurai once did their lord. Some believe that Okiku's spirit remains trapped, forever doomed to recount the plates due to her unjust punishment. Others propose that the well is a portal to the other side, a conduit for spirits to communicate with the living. Still, others suggest that the well's haunting is a result of the collective fear and fascination of the people, a psychological phenomenon known as a tulpa. Each theory raises more questions than it answers. Can a spirit really be trapped, forever reliving its final moments? Is the well truly a gateway to the other side, allowing spirits to cross over? Or is the haunting a manifestation of our own fears, a testament to the power of the human mind? Regardless of the answers, the mystery of Okiku's well continues to captivate. It's a haunting realization of the thin line that separates the living from the dead, the known from the unknown, and the rational from the irrational. So next time you peer into a well, listen closely. Can you hear Okiku counting? Or are there other spirits with their own tales waiting to be heard? If you enjoyed this journey into the strange and unknown and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date on any future videos on the things that go bump in the night. Remember, 
The world is full of secrets just waiting to be unveiled, and I'm here to guide you through the shadows, so until next time, keep your flashlights handy and your mind open. Because in a world full of mysteries, curiosity is your greatest compass. Thanks for watching.